So, Chris, it was chilly today. Yes, so not only is it going to remain chilly for the next couple of nights, we're also going to see some rain chances increase as we head into those overnight hours. We only got up to 57 degrees today, and our average temperature around this time of year is sitting around 86, so we're well above, well below average, rather, but our record was set in 1967 when we got up to 106 degrees here in San Angelo. Uh, our low last night was 48 degrees, and our average temperature for our low temps are around 60, but our record was set in 1997 when we got down to 41 degrees, but for the last 24 hours, uh, we saw our temperatures only reach up to the 50s, uh, getting up to about 56, 57 degrees, but last night we got down to around 48 uh, here in San Angelo. Definitely seeing those really cool temperatures and they're dealing with cooler temperatures in the Texas Panhandle. It's 44 in Amarillo, 46 in Lubbock, sitting at 47 in Midland and 63 degrees in Del Rio. As you look closer towards the Concho Valley, we're sitting in the 50s for the northern half, but it's 49 degrees in Sterling City, 53 in Mertzen and 51 degrees in Eden. And as we go into our wind speeds, relatively calm winds and we, as we head into those overnight hours, and they're going to remain that as we uh, go into tomorrow morning. But our current radar, we were tra tracking some thunderstorms that were off to our east here. Those, of course, are moving out of the picture, but we do have another round of storms that could potentially come through tomorrow morning uh, with increasing showers as we get closer towards 11 o'clock, 12 a.m. Uh, for tomorrow morning. Definitely seeing those showers come into the for, uh, the viewing area around 430 with some scattered thunderstorms to uh, heavy rain possible. I don't get, I don't think this is going to be severe uh, as we go into tomorrow morning, but definitely some areas could see some heavy rain and some lightning with that for uh, Saturday morning. We'll clear out to partly cloudy skies, but Tim's getting down into the 50s for tomorrow night. Another chilly night for us. We only get up to about in the upper, about low 60s uh, for tomorrow for our high. But as we look at our uh, regional satellite, definitely seeing a lot of moisture off to the west of us near the southwestern part of the United States. This is going to be increasing our moisture, uh, keeping our rain chances around for the next couple of days. And then our next big weather system is off over Southern California. That's going to be moving over uh, West Texas, and that's going to bring some significant. Uh, thunderstorms potential as we head into next Tuesday there, uh, but currently their travel forecast, if you're heading across the state, expect rain chances for much of the state for tomorrow, and then we're going to continue to see some gradual clearing, but then we are going to still uh, remain with our chances of rain as we go into Monday and Tuesday, so it's going to be another one of those weeks where we're going to see those rain chances just every day, except until we go to Wednesday. We'll have some clearing to mostly cloudy skies for Wednesday and Thursday, but then we're going to see that increasing moisture once again with those disturbances coming through the area for Wednesday and Thursday with our highs gradually warming up into the upper 80s by the end of next week. But tonight getting down to 56 degrees with showers turning into thunderstorms for tomorrow morning with winds out of the north northeast at 10 to 15 miles an hour. And as we go into tomorrow getting up to 67 degrees a little bit warmer than today with morning thunderstorms will clear out with partly cloudy skies with winds out of the north northwest at 5 to 7 miles an hour. And for the next seven days we can expect those rain chances to remain uh, for the next few days with a 30 percent chance of scattered showers lasting into Sunday morning, and then that's going to be lasting Monday into Tuesday. We'll clear out just briefly for Wednesday and Thursday to mostly sunny skies. Expect some scattered showers for Mother's Day, but the good news, we're going to get up to about 76 degrees, and as we head into next, the end of next week or to Friday, we can expect to see a stray storm possible as we go towards the end of the week there. You know, I need to buy some rain boots. Yes, you do, because uh, it's we've definitely we're seeing this rain with the spring-type weather that we're seeing. So, definitely. And a rain jacket. And a rain jacket. Because the wind will definitely tear up an umbrella. Oh, oh wow. Well, thank you, Chris, for that weather update. Coming up on KSAN News, one of